Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am joined by a very special guest. Can Hello. you even believe it? Well, there we go. Making like, puns in my room. I hated that. And today we are going to be spilling the university. This time on American Uni. Whoa, can't believe it. I'm excited. We call them <laughs> colleges first of yeah, all. That, that's like, that's, <laughs> hold your horses, sir. My very first question is, what does college mean to you? Is it the same Depression, as university? anxiety. <laughs> College is just where you go after high school. Right, so is it the, the equivalent of university? Or do you yes. have university? College and university are synonymous, mostly yeah. in American vernacular. The only difference is, if you really want to get specific, universities have colleges in them. Oh, so okay. So I yeah. went to Rowan University, and I went to the math department, which is like the college of math. So it's kind of like the individual departments of colleges mm -hmm. within the bit. But you still say you went to college. I see. For me, college was like sixth form. Which is the bit before university. Just post high school. It's yeah. So like senior year. I guess. No, I mean, the only difference really was that at sixth form we didn't have to wear uniform. That's your bonus. Have to wear uniform. <laughs> no. We don't wear uniforms ever. The only place I ever had to wear a uniform was Pizza Hut. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> Not a flex. My next question, and this is such a big one that I think anyone who's ever watched an American film probably has this question, mm -hmm. is what on earth is a frat party? Oh my god. <laughs> Frat parties are just places to get drunk illegally, basically. Oh, uh, yeah, because you guys can't drink when you're at college. So the only way to drink is to go to a frat party where you kind of pay dues, you're in a brotherhood, and they provide you with alcohol oh. illegally. Now, they're always like, no, Mr. Officer, no, only 21-year-olds drink here. But they have loads of parties with underage people and their frats that drink. And, I see. And they have a lot of girls around, and they, you know, from other sororities, and they do the jingle jangle. So, at these parties, do people- I want you to know, I've never been. Do I look like the type of guy that goes to a frat party? I made YouTube videos when I started university. <laughs> I was in my room all the time making videos. I was videos. relying on you for this. <laughs> I'm you're so my, sorry. You're my sole source of knowledge. I heard a lot because I went to one of the biggest <laughs> frat schools in the US. So like, they were always getting busted by cops. So like, yeah, they happen. It's what you see in films. Oh yeah, so then my next question is, do people really drink from red solo cups? All the time, yes. I mean, wow. I did that not going to university. You have a party in your garage, you invite friends over, you have freaking solo cups. Ah, cause it, like, they're just you to Walmart, you dollar fifty get you like a hundred cups, come on. <laughs> but here, they're like a novelty, I think, because they are. they're actually kind of expensive to buy, and you can buy Why? them in like packs of eight. They're the cheapest things to, like literally, Walmart gives them away for free. This is American cultural appropriation. Once you have the red solo cups, mm -hmm. Do you play beer pong? I've played many games. Because in my head, like, beer pong is such an American thing. I feel like it's only because the drinking culture in the US is so juvenile because we're not allowed to do it. Right, I see. So it's more like, oh, we have to play games and get really drunk. Whereas yeah. in the UK, it's just, let's hang out with friends at the pub. Yeah. And have a legal drink. <laughs> I don't know. I love a drinking game, but they're more about, like, how drunk can you possibly get? Like, we wouldn't yeah. waste time with beer. When you go to university, mm -hmm or college, is it a common thing to move very, very far away from home? Uh, it really depends on how much money you come from, right. and or if that's possible, but most people, yeah, they want to go somewhere that's not too far from their family, but far enough to feel like they're their own person. I literally went to university that was 15 minutes down the road. I did live on campus though, because right. I wanted that the feeling of being a, like at campus, you know? Yeah, I think um, that's such a big part. But most people that I know that went to university from my high school, they all went to universities within like the tri-state area, so Jersey, Pennsylvania, or New York. So that's like, what that means? Places. There's like four tri-states in the US, but definitely the best one is you know this is a real education <laughs> in the UK I think most people tend to go further away from home well everywhere in yeah, the you UK went to Durham which yeah. is very far from so me. that's like three listen here sir not a fan of I Durham told you I, <laughs> I go to university like 350 miles away from where I live which in UK terms is far I was in American say, terms it's probably like 15 minutes down the road that'd be like if I went to university at New York so you could be still in, probably in your same state, but be that far away, right? In California, yes. There are like Ivy League schools which this are superior. Is, yeah, that's one of my questions. And then there's like specific schools that are really good at certain things. So no one knows where I went. Run University, what the heck is that? <laughs> but if you go to engineering, engineering it's very well known. Oh, I see. What is the Ivy League? Are they the top universities? Is that a funding group? It's one of those old, it's just the old school universities right. that were there first that are very rich, they're very affluent, um, they're also very hard to get into. See, in the UK, like the 
Russell group, I suppose, is almost like an I've equivalent. Heard about that, but, but I don't know what it is. it's different because the Russell group is actually just a, a research group and a funding group. Durham University, even though it's the third oldest university in the UK, was only admitted to the Russell group in 2012. You can be admitted. To yeah, it's like a, it's like because oh, you can't be Ivy League is Ivy League. There is no like oh. applying. No, it's like no, this is a boys only club type of thing. Oh, I see. Yeah, like up, St yeah. Andrews, for example, which is one of the top universities in the UK. That's where mm -hmm. um, Prince William and, and Kate met. Oh, that's not in the Russell group. I, that's so weird. So it like I think a lot of people in the UK think that the Russell group are like the top top universities, but it's actually it's actually not the case. So that's that myth busted. So what is majoring and minoring? So my major was mathematics. If you want to minor, that's where you've basically done like seventy five percent of the coursework for a different degree. Oh, okay. And so you are like, well, I did so much of it, you kind of get an award to be like, oh, okay. I basically learned it. So. It works hand in hand if you're studying physics, you can very easily get a minor in math. If you're doing foreign language, you can get one in specifically Spanish or maybe oh, French no, and just get a minor in that. So we have, you You apply to university to do one subject and one subject only. There is a thing called I hate that. So combined sad. honors where you can do multiple. It's just because our first two years of uni are all courses that you're with everyone with. Yeah, so so do you I'm do with you... math, but I took Western Civilizations 1 and 2, uh, Ethics, Sociology, Psychology, Intro to Piano, you know, Wow. Besides the piano one, all those are mandatory courses. Oh, I see. In order to graduate a uh, U.S. university, you have to take, first of all, you have to take English 101, 102. You have to take a public speaking course, an ethics course, sociology, psychology, and Western civs. Those are mandatory. You have to learn those to graduate. Uh, are jocks, like, do they exist? Are they the really yes. cool people? Are they always the most popular people? And the cheerleaders, like the cheerleaders and the jocks in my head. That is like, a real thing. That's God's tier. Anyone that's in a sport in university doesn't need to get really good grades because right. they're doing really well. Most of them have a full ride to do the sport, so they have all the tuition uh -huh. paid. To especially because football is such a huge thing in the U.S. Right. that if you do, uh, if you're really good at football in high school, you'll get poached from universities who are like, yeah, heck yes, you can come to we our school. You. We'll pay the way as long as you get a C. And yeah, yeah, I guess they're cool. I didn't really hang out with many jocks, as you could tell from my disposition. I was assuming you were one. Wow. So then the other thing that I wanted to know: does this really exist? Is Glee Club. Do people just sing everywhere in US universities and schools? I mean, I was in the drama club. So when you're in the canteen, would you be sitting there just like, and you'd start like kind of tapping and then everyone else would join along and you'd suddenly have there, a I'm gonna be honest, nice dance? There were people like that. I mean, not, not the dancing, but there were those type of people where you're trying to eat and they'll be like, I wish I was a puppet. Stop that. Nobody wants to hear this. This is embarrassing and cringy. If Glee Club wasn't real, that would be heartbreaking for me. What happens when you graduate? Like, so what is, is there like a ceremony? What do you wear? Uh, everyone has to pay and get their cap and gown. Yeah. You can design your cap however you want. And you, uh, you I don't think we can do that. Well, why not? That's the whole, you're supposed to have a personalized cap. At my university, we don't even get caps. So my next question is, how are you graded? So we have, in the UK, the system is like, if you get 70%, you get a first. If you get 60%, you get a 2-1. If you get 50%, you get a 2-2. Two, 40% two. is a third, and anything below 40 is like, uh -uh. I feel like if I was hiring someone, and I was like, how'd you do? And they were like, I got about one out of every two right, 50%. Like, you can't work here. You're going to get 50% of my orders right? I don't think so. Yeah. In the UK as well, you said 70% or above is a first. Yeah. 70% and that's, and that's is the hard. lowest you're allowed to get to pass in the US. What? If you get a 69 you fail. The way that it was explained to me is that if you get like 80, then it's publishable. Like that needs to, that's going in an academic Oh journey. yeah. In my master's degree in the UK, mm. I really had to study differently for the UK system. Yeah. Okay, so my last question mm -hmm. is, do you have Freshers Week? Does Freshers Week exist? No, because we can't drink. There isn't really a Freshers Week. When I moved here as a master's student, I went to my first Freshers Week. Yeah. And I was just like, were you horrified? I'm a 23 year old guy doing Freshers. Yes, I was horrified. British students really know how to party. They get wasted on everything I'll tell imaginable. You. When you get into university here, I think the first thing you think about is like, Freshers Week is going to be the best week of my life. And I always say to Aww. people, don't expect it to be because it's like, the first week you're at university will not be the most comfortable one for you. No, you don't like, know anyone. It's no, so scary. So like, that's why you want to get drunk. Almost every week after that will be better. One thing that someone said to me, which I'd never really considered before, is that Freshers Week literally exists to distract you from the fact that you've just moved away. So they put on all oh, these huge parties nice. and you're busy all day, every day. Like at my university, we... I hardly went in my room during Freshers Week aside oh. from to sleep because it, we were just busy the whole time. I and think I we had a similar like thing to be fair. Yeah. It's just not drinking. Right. There's loads of like, we got Kesha here, she's performing a song for you. Yeah, we just had like Tinchy Strider and the Chuckle Brothers. <laughs> Chuckle Brothers are British icons, so. Let's... Yeah, I think one of them died though, so. They did. A moment of silence for the lost Chuckle Brother. No one's chuckling now.
That was like the saddest thing that's ever happened on my channel. <laughs> How does funding work? Because in the year- Oh my god, that's such a good question. There's a lot of different scholarships that you have to apply for and write like long essays mm. and then you're also writing these essays against all these other people and then only one person gets picked and you get like a thousand dollars off your twenty thousand dollar tuition. Twenty uh, thousand for one year? Well, if you're at a cheap school, yeah. A cheap school. <laughs> my school was very cheap and it was twelve thousand. Um, and that's not including accommodation. So every student gets it from US Fed loans, which is like the US subsidized. Right. Uh, and they give you the money at a 7% interest rate, which is debilitating. There's people that yeah. have been paying their loans every single month for 10 years that now owe double. Oh I personally owe double what I owed when I first started. That's madness. It's, it, it's an indentured servitude in the US. There's no way of getting out of it if you go to college. It's depressing. The UK, you guys have it worked into your like salaries where you pay a certain yeah. amount and it's not 7% interest. So we have to pay 9,250 mm pounds -hmm. tuition fees, but that money is given to us from Student Finance England, circumvents us and just goes straight to the university. Like we never see oh, that money no. and we have to then pay it back like once we have a job and we're earning over however Do you ever get money. that huge amount of money extra? And so you just have a huge, and you're like, no, well, so you get a maintenance loan, which is based on your yeah. family's household income, and that okay. pays for your, like, rent and mm -hmm. food and stuff like that, and that's, like, a lot And books. Sum. Oh, my God. And books. Books, books, books are, are so expensive. expensive. My like, physics what? book for one class was $400. Are you okay? And I think that's all I have to say. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much, Evan, for being on my channel. Thanks for having me. Um, and we also filmed a video over on Evan's channel, old school YouTube collab style. Um, it's UK versus USA exam season. Yes, it's crazy exams. Shudder. What are the different SAT, GCSE, A level? I don't even know. What do these well, we do mean? Know. We know now, yeah. so go check it out. As always, the links to my social media and Evan's social media will be in the crotch box down below, so go and check that out. Got anything profound? Stay in school. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's the one takeaway from this. So thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.